Okay, so we're here with Kurt Harnett at the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies, and we're just about to sit down and, and go through the process. And Kurt, it's got to be a wild ride for you. The Pan Am Games were just phenomenal, and uh, you know, just seeing everything come together, just the smile on your face kind of gives it away a bit, I guess. Well, it was a, a, an amazing journey, and of course, the athletes, you know, speaking specifically to the cycling team and how well they perform certainly made my day-to-day -day much easier because uh, you know getting out to the velodrome getting out to the road races and stuff like that to cheer on gold medal hopefuls was really uh, really a, an amazing uh, amazing task to have every morning to say this is where I need to be today yeah. so yeah you know, and, and, and from a team as a whole the number of total medals has uh, is increased since the games were over to 220 uh, medals at these games so what a what a tremendous honor to be uh, be a part of what was a significant performance by the Canadian team as a whole, yeah. and of course now to be here today and and uh, be honored alongside of some, as I like to say, some trendsetters, some uh, some trailblazers, some uh, some iconic you know dominators, and then some teammates. You know, some just as a really uh, amazing group of people, uh, an honor to be a part of this uh, first class of uh, inductees into this Hall of Fame. Real exciting to be on the wall of honor at the at the Matami National Cycling sure. Center. So just a, just a real humbling moment. Absolutely. I mean, you, you look back in time and think about all the all the work that's gone into the sport and you guys just, uh, you know, putting the planks in the wall, so to speak, on the deck and, and just looking back and seeing the legacy, it's pretty amazing just how, how much uh, work has gone into the sport and how many uh, podiums we've had. And, and stars we had along the way. Well, this uh, this class is certainly reflective of that journey, and certainly starting off with Torchy Pete. And I understand his brother Doug was maybe the better cyclist, but Torchy had the opportunity to go off and do what he did. But uh, you know, it, and I, when I spoke to the Trailblazers, you know, there's uh, there's some significant uh, and iconic uh, members of this uh, of this class that sure. that really I, I think uh, put Canada on the map as far as cycling is concerned. And we always were just known as those guys that seemed to produce the one-offs every once in a while. Somebody from Canada got spit out onto the international scene, True. and uh, there was just a significant uh, pr uh, procession of athletes and, and builders that were there before me that sort of created that that soft landing for me wherever I went, and that that great connection that was immediately built because of of uh, some of these great people. Absolutely. Well, I do remember some photos of you, Kurt, with a red umbrella, and uh, you know, causing uh, some nice trouble on, on the international scene. And, just building some notoriety for the country and, and for Canada. You know, it's a great legacy going forward. When you look, you know, you have the track, of course, in your blood, and you see the velodrome, and you see what's happening around you. It's got to make you feel just uh, the whole thing is really coming together. Well, there's just a there's this great feeling, the great buzz that's in the air here today. Uh, when you're in the facility during a competition, I mean, the, the programs are booked up, and when uh, availability comes to to be at the track, it's it's filled up with uh, community members, uh, young and old, trying to get that get their time out and boards. National teams got a home. You know, great story from Monique Sullivan. You know, showing up at the start of this year, dropping her bags on the ground, and you know, looking around, saying, you know, I'm in the one of this, this fabulous facility. Can't believe it's my home facility now. So, you know, it just is a it is a significant opportunity for us to continue building this great sport in this country and again to, to bring and to show the world what Canada is all about uh, you know have Steve running the, the Milton National Cycling Academy there to have uh, the great success of our athletes that live and breathe in that facility and to have the community of Milton sort of rally behind it now uh, our future looks really really great absolutely well the athletes really came up stepped up to the to the, to the game and delivered at the Pan Am games and the Parapan games so a nice legacy going forward Kurt so much, thanks so much for spending time with us sharing your thoughts on this uh, wonderful day and, and all the best going forward Benjamin uh, thank you tremendous honor to be here